over a century, this 50-mile shortcut powered $270 billion in global trade. But right now, its lifeline is drying up. Ships are stranded. Tolls have skyrocketed eight times. Panama's $5 billion cash cow? It's gasping for water. But while Panama drowns in chaos, Mexico is making a $5 billion bet to steal the crown and replace the Panama Canal. Say hello to the interoceanic corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. Yeah, it's not easy to pronounce. Let's call it the Panama Canal Killer. Imagine you're shipping 10,000 containers from Shanghai to New York, and the Panama Canal is crippled by droughts, delays, and an 8,000-mile detour around Cape Horn. What will be your new shortcut? A secret railway slicing through Mexico's narrowest strip of land, faster, cheaper, and already stealing cargo. You're watching Construction Wars. Today, we're diving into the $3 trillion question. Will Mexico's Panama Canal killer save global trade? Will it completely replace the Panama Canal? Before we explore Mexico's revolutionary project, let's quickly revisit why the Panama Canal became so indispensable. This 82-kilometer-long waterway was engineered to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, slashing transit times by over 12,000 kilometers. But you've seen the headlines. The Panama Canal, once the crown jewel of maritime engineering, is facing a crisis like never before. Daily transits have dropped, and larger vessels are forced to trim cargo loads due to draft restrictions, with water shortages becoming a recurring nightmare. The canal's ability to handle its usual 36 to 38 daily transits has fallen dramatically to just 24. How does a system which once handled half a billion tons of trade buckle under such pressure? And what does this mean for the global supply chain when every minute of delay costs millions? It's a high stakes race and the world's shipping companies are scrambling for alternatives. Here comes the solution. Mexico's Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, a project that could shake up global trade. Instead of relying on a waterway, this corridor envisions a state-of-the-art rail network spanning 308 kilometers across southern Mexico, starting from the bustling port of Coatzacoalcos on the Gulf Coast, stretching to Salina Cruz on the Pacific. This corridor promises a faster, more reliable, and cheaper route for cargo. But can a land-based solution really stand up against a century-old waterway like the Panama Canal? Let's explore the details. Historically, Mexico wasn't new to transoceanic transport. Over a hundred years ago, the Tren Interoceanic was launched, connecting Oaxaca to Veracruz, a daring effort to bridge the Atlantic and Pacific. Though it fell by the wayside when the Panama Canal opened in 1914, that early ambition set the stage for today's project. Now, with modern technology and massive investment, President Lopez Obrador is determined to revive Mexico's transoceanic dream. But what's changed this time? Will high-speed rail and port upgrades overcome the pitfalls that doomed the original railway? The Interoceanic Corridor isn't just about laying new tracks, it's a full-scale transformation. The plan calls for building three primary rail lines, Line Z, Line FA, and Line K designed to shuttle cargo seamlessly between the two oceans alongside these railways. Both the Gulf and Pacific ports are undergoing radical upgrades, including a giant breakwater at Salina Cruz to shield vessels from unpredictable storms. The question is, can these modern marvels rival the efficiency of a waterway that once cut 12,000 kilometers off shipping routes? And will international shippers embrace this new path? From an economic perspective, the stakes are astronomical. Projections suggest the corridor could attract $50 billion in foreign investment, create as many as 550,000 jobs, and inject life into Mexico's underserved regions. Think about it. Hundreds of thousands of jobs, a significant GDP boost, 
and the potential to divert a portion of the $270 billion in cargo that currently navigates the Panama Canal every year. But can these bold promises withstand the challenges? And how will global trade routes adapt if shippers begin diverting their precious cargo to this new land-based route? Of course, no mega project of this magnitude is without controversy. Environmental concerns loom large. Indigenous communities in Oaxaca have voiced strong opposition, fearing displacement and irreversible damage to local ecosystems. Reports from MexicoNewsDaily.com highlight clashes between protesters and construction crews, with allegations of deforestation and habitat destruction. These are not mere side notes. They are central to the project's future. How can Mexico balance its ambitious economic goals with the urgent need to protect its environment and respect the rights of its indigenous peoples? Delving into the engineering challenges, the corridor's design is as audacious as it is complex, upgrading over 1,000 kilometers of railway, some of which hasn't seen modern maintenance in decades, demands cutting-edge technology and relentless precision. Engineers aren't just relaying tracks, they're integrating high-speed rail capabilities that could slash transit times to mere hours. Imagine a system where cargo shifts from ship to train in record time ensuring goods move seamlessly across continents. Yet, the technical hurdles are enormous. Can modern engineering truly bridge decades of neglect and overcome the rugged terrain of the isthmus? Financially, the corridor is a beast to tame. With an estimated price tag of $5 billion and some estimates soaring to $7.5 billion. When port upgrades are factored in, this project requires meticulous planning and unwavering political support. International investors are watching closely. Major institutions like the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and regional development funds are being courted. But what happens if costs overrun or political winds shift in the high-stakes world of megaprojects? Even a slight misstep could lead to colossal financial losses. Let's put this in perspective. The Panama Canal, a marvel of early 20th century engineering, cost the United States $375 million in 1914, roughly $122 billion today. Mexico's corridor, while monumental, represents a fraction of that investment. Yet, it's not just about the money, it's about timing and relevance. With the Panama Canal crippled by water shortages, shippers are desperate for alternatives. The corridor promises relief during peak demand and a consistent route less vulnerable to environmental chaos. One of the most intriguing aspects about this is that the corridor could complement, not replace, the Panama Canal. Experts on CNBC suggest a diversified network is key to global trade resilience. Picture this, the canal and corridor working in tandem. When one falters, the other picks up the slack. This could revolutionize logistics, making shipping predictable and crisis-proof. But here's the burning question. Will shippers split their traffic? or cling to tradition. Historically, Mexico had its moment with the Tren Interoceanico, a railway faster than the canal, but crushed when Panama's waterway opened in 1914. That failure haunted Mexico for a century. Now, with cutting-edge tech and renewed political will, can Mexico finally fulfill its promise? What's changed in 100 years? Can lessons from the past prevent history from repeating? The answer is shrouded in suspense. Looking beyond Mexico, the global trade landscape is shifting. Colombia's ambitious railways, Nicaragua's controversial mega canal, even the Arctic Northwest Passage as ice melts, all vie for a slice of the transoceanic trade pie. Mexico's corridor isn't an isolated gamble. It's part of a broader revolution could this be the dawn of a multi-route future? Or will old giants like the Panama Canal dominate forever? As we near the end, the future of global trade hangs by a thread. The Panama Canal stands at a crossroads. The interoceanic corridor offers hope, but the road ahead is littered with risks, technical nightmares, environmental battles, financial gambles. Every decision, every breakthrough will decide if this becomes a legend or a grave in the cemetery of mega projects. Can Mexico's corridor rival the Panama Canal or will it collapse under its own ambition? Drop your thoughts below. Smash that like button.
subscribe to Construction Wars, and tell us which mega project we should cover next.